Well, the sheen was blown off of 2021 in record time this year. <laughs> you might have seen my video at the winter solstice in December 2020 talking about the new year and how we can make a new day anytime. And that is the damn truth. Thank God for that. Also, up here in Michigan where I live, it's winter and I don't know about y'all, but February is not my favorite month of the year. It is the coldest, typically it's the grayest. It's like, when is spring coming? Um, okay, so not to be a total downer, don't tune me out yet. Do you ever think about what you can do to make things better in the dead of winter? Do you ever think about the light cycles and energy and how you can work with what you have to make it better? Um, if it's your first time to this channel, I am a person in long-term recovery with bipolar disorder and addiction. I'm a mom and I've been through some stuff and I've learned some things and I have had phases of taking different medications. I've experienced mania and depression and um, I'm not a doctor, but I've learned some tricks and trades. Um, that you could potentially try out in conjunction with your doctor, of course. So this is what I did a few winters ago as I had just weaned off of antidepressants and the winter was coming in and the days were getting shorter and it was harder to go outside and, and, I, and I knew it was going to be hard. And so... I did some life hacks that are really just in harmony with um, with the seasons and kind of technology. Okay, so let me explain this. Basically, the first thing was bright light in the morning. If you can get a happy light, that is actually the brand. Um, and they're quite affordable. There are other versions as well, but like you want like a full spectrum 10,000 lumens light to sit in front of for about 5 to 15 minutes in the morning is what I did um, before noon um, Wakes you up and it tells your brain. It's a new day. It's time to get up. It's time to get going going out and walking in nature even when it's frigid cold bundling your ass up and getting out there even if it's just like honestly just to the driveway but try to make it around the block try to make it 15 minutes try to make it a mile just whatever is doable for you but get outside even if you don't have that happy light you know just turn the lights on bright in the morning and do whatever you have to do to get moving you know make your bed um, these are the things that help me to to be energized in the dead of not awesome winter and actually even when from out from inside looking out the window and everything just looks bleak going out there like I did today and we found and I don't have the the um, privilege of living near like awesome hiking like some people in, in different parts of the country and the world do um, but we found like um, some woods and um, and played in the snow and it, it was overcast but looking up at the beautiful snow coming down it was just it, getting the exercise wow what a shift in my mood um, and then um, of course eating a good diet drinking enough water and then in the evening this is important um, dimming the lights quieting things down uh, couple hours before bedtime listening to something soothing um, shutting down all the flashing light stimulating shows and extra noise if at all possible I really really am a huge advocate of the um, 
Solfeggio frequencies. There's so much good stuff here on YouTube that's free. Um, my kid loves it. The Tibetan singing bowls. Um, it's just, there's a sound is vibration and we're electric creatures. So it just makes sense. Um, so there's so much more that I could go into about that, but those are kind of like my basics for circadian rhythm management. Um, and I will also add in there some aromatherapy, which um, I could go into uh, into another thing about that for sure. But just a, like a preview, an energizing scent in the morning or a midday pick-me-up would be maybe something like tangerine or grapefruit or bergamot geranium um, those are some and then uh, calming fragrances like lavender um, vanilla um, um, chamomile and um, sorry I was trying to remember if it's German chamomile or blue chamomile that I like better I'll have to get back to you on that and Lang Lang is kind of like a middle-of-the-road one that I think is like um, energizing and relaxing like balancing and there's so many more so many more oh my gosh okay so I'm a fragrance junkie too um, I don't recommend getting all the artificial fragrance things but just um, some pure essential oils that need to be diluted so anyway um, <laughs> I um, I said this already but I'm not uh, a doctor <laughs> Nothing that I say should be taken as like direct prescription advice. Um, you have to listen to your body and you have to work in coordination with your prescriber. And if you have bipolar disorder or you think you might have a mental illness or mood disorder and you don't have mental health care, please get it. If you're in the United States and you don't have insurance, community mental health saved my life. Um, so, uh, because I, I didn't have anything either and I was able to get the care that I needed by the grace of God and public funds. I was able to get my medicine and my care for free. I mean, free to me. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Okay, so I'm kind of jazzed up right now because I just um, went to my first in-person support meeting in a long time, and good God did I miss that. Um, had my uh, respirator on, so you know, they're safe. But um, wow, what a beautiful thing. Uh, anyway, it's a new year, sort of, it's a new day. And, um, and, and all is well, and all shall be well. I really appreciate you tuning into this channel. Um, would love to hear your feedback on this and what other topics you would like to see videos on. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that I can take this channel and it's still just in its early stages. So the, the feedback is really important to me. If you are not comfortable commenting on the video, you are welcome to email me at bipolarbrilliancecoaching at gmail.com and as always take care of yourselves be well be kind take care of each other until next time bye